Hey guys, welcome back to another video of how to's, tips, tricks for Hell Let Loose. Um, again, as always, I have my buddy Lee here helping me out with this one. Even though It's going to be a real quick one though. We're going to discuss half tracks and their falling out and their uses. And again, this is all in my opinion, my experience with the game. If you have a different method or opinion, that's perfectly all right as well. Um, this is just my side of the usefulness of the half tracks. Now, I was very against them when they first came out. I thought their cost um 300 fuel to their use was not worth it however through time and and playing and commanding and whatnot i have found them to actually be a very very useful asset to the game in their purpose of not having that 100 meter lockout um radius in uh red zone and if you don't know what that is look for my other video i'm going to be posting soon here of um tips and tricks for commanding where i will go through all that Anyways, half track. So, um, I find I have two good uses for half tracks, and it is really the only ones that I rely on them for. There's a couple other, and we'll discuss those. But the two main ones are forward garrisons and backup garrisons. I'll start with the backup garrisons. Now, using a half track to protect a rear point, and I'm not talking about the rear point that you are currently defending. I'm talking about your most rear point. So if the enemy owns dugout and you're defending Hugo's farm, I would not keep a half track on Hugo's farm. It's probably going to get hit with a bomb run and die. I would have it on the corner if I decided to use a half track for it. And the reason being, if recon, enemy recon is doing their job, they are going to be looking for your garrisons. They will find them, pull them down, and cause a giant pain in the ass because then you got to get back there, try to put it up. Hopefully they're not camping the position, getting ready for that back cap. A half track... They cannot destroy it. They can sit in it and permanently lock it out, but there's nothing else you can they can do with it. So they have to decide on whether or not to mark location and leave, or one of them will have to stay permanently on that half track, which means you can strafe them off of it when you need your half track, or you can fire artillery on it. It will not destroy the half track. But you can free up your half track if you need it. And the other run, the other way I use them, and it is my personal favorite, and I love doing it, is for a forward garrison. And I don't mean a forward garrison like we're attacking dugout, and I use a half track for a spawn point for dugout. No, I'm talking about putting it for Brecourt, where it's a locked out area. They're not looking for anything to be happening in that area. Period. You can't build a garrison there nothing so you would take a half track and you would park it somewhere hidden near Brecourt. it will stay locked out but that's fine because the second you cap dugout you now have a garrison near their point that will immediately open up if it is not found that your guys you can then redeploy your defensive squads onto that half track and have them go straight into Brecourt and catch them off guard that is my personal favorite use of the half track. And the other uses for it is a Hail Mary. You're trying to get dug out. The game's going to end soon. You know, you've only got a few minutes and you seem to have a hell of a time keeping a spawn point near it. Your airhead may have failed or you want to do it in tandem with an airhead, which is drop an airhead and then have somebody bring a half track up as close to that point as you physically can and deploy it and just hope for the best in the in that term um in terms of hiding half tracks it's pretty self-explanatory it's a giant vehicle the german ones i find are a lot easier to hide than the american ones because they're a big box these german ones you can nicely hide inside the longer grass and whatnot uh, but that's up to your preference when you place them um as for the shortfalls with them obviously 60 second timer on them kind of a pain in the ass but the biggest shortfall with them is random people jumping into them firing them up and driving them around i really wish they would put a way to lock the use of a half track as the commander but for now that is not a thing um the update coming out update 12 will have guns on them i have used them in the ptes they are fantastic and hilarious so it's definitely something to look forward to and it makes the half track even just that much more viable. Um, and the fact that it can defend itself while it is moving. Because right now, it's very easy to kill. 
one rocket to pretty well anywhere on it, minus the wheels or the tracks, will kill it. Tanks will kill it in one shot no matter what. The light tanks, however, do require two shots. So if you see a Greyhound or a Puma or a Lukes or a Stewart, you stand a bit of a chance to disappear out of there. But for the most part, you're pretty well hooped. Your best bet is to stay hidden, do a super wide flank, and tuck it into a bush somewhere and use it in that aspect. Anyways, that's all I got for the half track, guys. Appreciate you stopping in. If you have any requests for videos you would like me to cover, put it in the comments or pop into my stream um, on Twitch when I am streaming, and you can chat with me there. Um, hit that follow, subscribe button. It's very much appreciated. I love your guys' support. And uh, thanks again, guys.